All right, so you have no idea. They have no idea that I'm filming this. It's their first reaction. Taking their sweet ass time. <laughs> That's the first thing you touched. That's unbelievable. That's it? Come on. You go for the freaking side marker? You're better than that. All right, Nicole, where are you? All right, guys, here she goes. Let's see what happens. I highly doubt she even looks at the car. That's my first guess. Just my assumption. Let's see if she even looks at it. Something tells me she's not. That's it. <laughs> What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is the Saab channel here. This is the Saab update. This is the Saab fleet. We got the 2008 Saab 93 Turbo X over here. We have a 2008 Saab 95 over here, which we've rebuilt twice, not just once. Sorry, Marsha, I know you're watching this. And over here, it's been snowing here in the Northeast, so it's a little bit salty, but it is black. It's a 2002 Saab 93 convertible. This one we rebuilt five years ago now. We put about 30 or 40,000 miles on it already. With a new engine, new transmission, it's running beautifully, knock on wood, because I don't want to jinx it. Otherwise, I would need this wrench again. All right, so we're going to go through these cars. This is a Saab story, Saab ownership conversation. These cars have all been rebuilt by me at some point. And I don't drive all these cars. In fact, I don't drive any of them. I just work on them. I have fun with them. So ladies, we're gonna introduce to you the real drivers behind these Saabs. And they're gonna tell you a little bit about what Saab ownership really is, cause they get to enjoy it. And I get to enjoy working on it. So let's do it. All right guys, so I got my wrench here. It's in my microphone, cause we're always working on Saabs, right Melanie? Right. How does it feel? to drive a 2002 Saab 9.3 convertible. It feels great. Yes, how many times has it broken down on you? <sighs> Too many to count. No, has Just the kidding. car ever left you stranded? Yes. Where? Well, you've been around to come and help me. But yes, it's left me stranded. How many times? Maybe five. What? <laughs> what? Five? <laughs> well, it's broken down like five. No, but you were not stranded. Not stranded. She her you definition came to help. her definition of stranded means something broke and she called me like, "Hey, come help you me." You got to come and help me. But the car drove home on its own power. Except you for once. You got to fix it. One time. When the belt fell off. Belt th fell off. They're yeah. married, guys. Yeah. So, so what else? Do you enjoy the top I down? I love it more in the summer with yep. the top down. We in do. the winter, you know, it doesn't it's just like every other car, you know. Yep. How do you like those butt warmers? Love them. Yeah? Yes, because my other previous car did not have them. And that Saab heat? Saab heat works great. And how smooth is it on the highway? It's smooth now since you got the ball joint fixed and everything else axle. besides that. Yeah, the axle. Did the axle, <laughs> axle shaft, that was vibrating terribly. Very smooth now. Yeah. Probably, and probably the smoothest it's ever been. How many times have you called me and been like, hey, I just hit a hundred and that? <sighs> Yes, I think I've gone Quite most a bit of probably times. 120 in my car wow. on the highway. That's good, guys. That's impressive. I don't even go that fast. <laughs> well, that was probably the most, maybe one time. <laughs> so you gotta test it out. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta clear the pipes every once in a while, right? Yeah. So today, this afternoon, we're waiting on one part. We're gonna actually. Last week or two weeks ago, we did a video on the thermostat and the actual thermostat temperature sensor went bad, so the, the temp gauge is not reading accurately. So today is another sob story with this 2002, 
but knock on wood, there's really nothing else wrong with it. So I'm not gonna really need too much of this wrenching, but- But you never know. But you never know. Something as always broken. Almost always Stop. broken. Either way, it's the same thing. So check out the Griffin Up. She's got the Griffin Up hoodie on. I'm actually wearing yours. <laughs> and uh, this is the Saab Turbo X. It's always saab -tastic. Over here There's on the no Kyle Pants. No, I'm saying it's always. <laughs> it's always saab -tastic. All right, guys. So next up, we have our 2008 Saab 95. This car has been rebuilt twice. We purchased once over the summer from Coparts out of Iraq. We rebuilt it. Nicole who is the current owner of the car. Thanks, Marsha, for all your support, by the way. I know you're watching this. <laughs> she drove it for about a 1,000 miles and had another unfortunate situation. So, Nicole, come on in. Everybody else wants to know who you are. This is Nicole, everybody. Hi, guys. She drives the Nikki. 2000... Nikki. Yep, Nikki. Sure. She drives the 2008-95, and how do you like it? I love it. How smooth is it? It is as smooth as... <laughs> that is not. <laughs> and we straight piped your, your car. How yeah, do you like that? Yeah, we straight piped it, which means I kind of have like a muscle car, but not really. Not really. It's a sob still. It's smooth. It, yeah. made, it makes it, it, it's, it's nice. It's nice. So this is the ultimate luxury sedan that Saab has ever built. Um, they made one last generation from 2010 to 2011. If you're not familiar with the Saab brand, I'm sure you didn't even know that. Uh, sorry, I was listening. No, you're fine. <laughs> So, so here, hold the microphone, and now I want you to explain to everybody on YouTube what happened when you got into a little accident. What happened? What were you doing? Where were you going? Um, okay, so I was driving home from Queens. I work in Queens at my pharmacy, Nikki's Pharmacy, if you ever need. I'm not going to go there. If you ever need drugs. <laughs> or hugs. <laughs> Or hugs, we give free hugs. Um, <laughs> and you know, my fiance at the time recommended I not drive this up to Queen. But you know, I wanted to, so I did. I was driving home Yom Kippur Eve, mm -hmm. and I had this lady in, in an affinity stop short in front of me. Um, the car behind me even had to swerve back to not hit me. Thank God. And Thank God that didn't happen. Yeah, so the damage to her car was very minimal, but to my car, my salvage, it was, it seems like it was like a bad accident. It really wasn't. The cops came, I begged the cop, I'm like, please let me drive it home. Please let me drive it home. And she's like, all right, fine. I'll follow you for a couple miles. And I had about 15 more miles to go. Wow, you drove far. And I drove it home. Wow. Got lucky. And now, no, no airbags, not nothing, no, no sound indicator lights went off. Nothing happened. And now, <laughs> now we have a brand new, fresh, freshly painted front end once again. Yeah, it's much better than it was before. And, yes. And uh, this is what it looks like underneath the hood, guys. Underneath the hood here, we have a 2.3 liter beast of an engine, and this is what it is. This is it. Right? This is us. It's comfortable. This is the, this is the These are the faces behind the cars. They get to experience the joys of uh, my labor, and I enjoy the labor of love that I give to these things. Yeah. So we're going to keep saving sobs. We're going to keep driving them, because over here, guys, we finally have this sob registered. We drove it for the first time the other day, and uh, we're going to finish restoring this. In the next episode, so be sure to subscribe and stay tuned. We're going to be putting a new drive shaft on this car because right now the drive shaft is off and it's only front wheel drive. So we're going to go ahead and correct that. And we're going to finish the restoration. This thing's going to look brand freaking new when we're done with it. It's going to run brand new. And one last thing before we end this video is when I built this Saab and gave it to Nikki, we never put a penny in the car. And you know the old saying of putting a penny in a new car is like a good luck thing, right? So we're going to bless the car. We're going to give you some coins. You said there's 36 pennies and coins well, in here? There's a lot of 36. So, so we're going we're gonna to bless you. <laughs> we're going to bless you in the car. Oh, would you look at that? Mm. All right. So Melanie, come on to the other side over here. We're going to put a, we're gonna put a penny in the back. You're gonna put a penny over here. You gonna throw one? All right. And now we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna stock you up so when you have to go 
food shopping in town or anywhere. The meters, it's really the meters. You need really to pay your meters, meters and you don't <laughs> want to use your credit card. You'll have your coins here. You can't use a credit card, it's cash, it's back change only. You can use a credit card. And the rest of these guys, we're gonna dump right in the center here. So make sure you don't forget. What's the pair? May the Saab gods take care of the car and drive it safe and well. Amen. Amen. See you guys. <laughs> Until next time.